Hello and welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today we are just going to make a quick video on Alienware Aurora R13 command center. So this is, we're going to start off with the home page. If you come down here, I mean, this is where you control the, your RGB lights. If you click go dark, it's going to obviously go dark, everything. Go back, go light, so it turn, turns back on everything. And uh, so we're going to hop on to library. This is where all your games are. I set it on auto. And if you, let's say if you don't see any game that you, you know, like or you want to add this go on the manual. I don't see a Call of Duty here. So I'm just gonna click off here and add that to. There you go, the game is here. And uh, also, let's say if you want to add any game to your favorite, just click up here on the star, go on the favorites, it's there. It's pretty simple. And let's say you want to change your artwork, you know, if you have anything saved up, you know, something, I don't have anything, so you can, you know, Simply just click on it and you can change that as well. And next we're gonna go to FX. FX, create a new thing. So I click on that. And also you can choose a game as well. Let's say you want a specific color for your game or your theme, whatever you like. You can just click on the game and you can choose however you want. It's pretty simple. Now we're just gonna start off with the, the power button. One, two, three. So that's your front. If you click all zone, so it, you can apply the same color to everything pretty much. You just have to click it. Let's say you want blue. So there you go. And you say, let's say you want Number two, you want blue as well, you just click on it, so it's blue. So you have to click off on one and two, and we'll have one to three. And let's say you want uh, this one. Let's say you want red. There we go. And you can choose any color you want, however, however you like. fan just click off here and then let's say you want yeah. there we go I am just gonna leave it on default setting you know I'm not really you know I don't really care how it looks so I'm not really a big fan of RGB lights so I'm just gonna leave it everything on default also if you click on all zone and control your brightness here and if you click down here you have a few options to choose from there we go so you can choose the color as well and it's gonna you know you kind of get the let me just make a quick video of it and show you how it looks Let's move on to Fusion. Just gonna leave everything on default on uh, FX for now. And this is where you all your overclocking. On my R11, I had this on um, here manual, so everything was like set it up on pretty much, you know. That's how I was set it up on my R11. So we run a If you run a quick test, it's gonna show you if it's, a, if it's safe or not for your machine.
Hey, you going to pass the test? So I'm just going to save it. I can, yeah, I'm just going to name 101. So there he goes. This is, I'm just going to leave it as is. So if you come up here, you can, you know, I, I have on auto, I mean on default setting, if you click fix, you know, you can change the color. You see it's green, one red, it's going to be red, one yellow, yellow. Same goes for this, you can change. But I'm going to leave it on auto, on default setting. For the fan speed, I had it on my R11, I had it on smooth. But this one I had so far no issue. It, it, it run way quieter than R11, so I'm just leaving it as is on auto. Same goes for this one, so I'm just leaving it as is. And for this is, you know, I, I believe it's for when you're playing a game, it, let, it, it uh, kinda, you know, tell you where the enemy is or whatever so I never actually used it so that is for this video I hope you liked it do subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching see you next time